Hi everyone, welcome back to our Zombit and Haskellin series. In today's video, we are going to explore a new exciting project, Object Tracking. We will teach Zombit to track and follow an object using its servo motor. Let's get started. Here is how this project works. By pressing button A, Zombit will learn and memorize the object you want it to track. Once Zombit has learned the object, it will start tracking it. The husky lens connected to the servo motor will turn to follow the object. If the object moves to the right, the servo motor will turn right to keep it centered. If the object moves to the left, the servo motor will turn left to recenter it. This way, Zombit can keep the object in its view no matter where it moves. Pressing button B will clear Zombit's memory and prepare it to learn a new object. Let's start with building the code for this project. Firstly, we will need to add Zombit and Haskellin's extensions in Make Code Editor. Once they are ready, we can jump into building the code. The code starts by initializing Haskellens to use the object tracking algorithm. We created a variable called current x to keep track of the servo motor position, and we set the initial position of the servo motor to 90 degrees. When button A is pressed, Zombit will learn and remember the object you want it to track. This is done by capturing the object's image and assigning it an ID. Pressing button B will clear this memory, allowing you to teach Zombit a new object. Inside the forever loop, we created a new variable called xCenter to simplify understanding the code. This variable will hold the horizontal position of the object we are tracking. Let's break this down so you understand it better. xCenter refers to the horizontal position of the object being tracked on the camera screen. Imagine the camera screen as a graph with a horizontal x-axis and a vertical y-axis. The x-axis represents the horizontal position with the left side being 0 and the right side 320. The center of the screen horizontally would be 160. The code retrieves a value from Haskellens that represents the object's horizontal position on the screen. This value referred to as x-center falls between 0 far left and 320 far right. Then we use show custom text block to display the X center values of the object on the screen at 00, zero coordinates. Note that if the X center value is displayed as negative one, this indicates the object is not detected. If the object's X center is greater than 190, the servo motor moves right by decreasing the current X position by 3 degrees to recenter the object. If the X center is between 0 and 130, the servo motor moves left by increasing the current X position by 3 degrees to recenter the object. The servo motor position is constrained between 0 and 180 degrees to ensure it rotates within its range. And now, let's download the code and see how Zombit can follow an object in real time. Well done completing the second project of Zombit and Haskellin series. In the next video, we will see how Zombit can recognize and react to colors. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.